Each of these satellites weighs approximately 260 kilograms and features a compact flat panel design that minimizes volume, allowing for a dense launch stack to take full advantage of Falcon 9's launch capabilities. Starlink satellites are also equipped with efficient ion thrusters powered by Krypton that enable the satellites to orbit rays, maneuver in space, and deorbit at the end of their useful life. Starlink is, in fact, the first Krypton-propelled spacecraft ever flown. And we're just a few seconds away from payload deploy, so let's listen in for the callout of payload deploy. Starlink deploy confirmed. And now you can see on screen these satellites are slowly separating from the second stage. Uh, shortly they will deploy their solar arrays and over the next few weeks distance themselves from one another and use their onboard ion thrusters to make their way back to their make their way to their operational orbit. Uh, that's a very cool shot. A uh, quick update on fairing catches. It looks like we had a good catch on both fairing halves, but the corner of the net on Mistree didn't hold up and gave way. Uh, we didn't have any impacts to the recovery team personnel, uh, so we'll bring them back uh, and see if we can use them on a future flight. And with that, we'll be bringing our webcast to a close. Thank you to the Range and Federal Aviation Administration for supporting today's mission. Again, if you are interested in getting future news about our Starlink service, head on over to starlink.com and sign up for updates.